down a little bit. Hi guys, welcome to my Scotch 2. This is Robin and uh, I'm going to finish up this jar we had started. This was a wired necklace and I had these and they broke and they were all over the place. So I put it in the bag and I'm going to put this in the craft lot. And hubby went out on the hunt today and this is something I had won off of Shop Goodwill he picked up. And it's a Juicy Couture in its original box, starter bracelet, charm bracelet in silver tone. Very nice box. It was regularly $58. Or it says compare at $58. I don't know what price they had on it. But there's the box. It's in great shape. So he picked that up for me today. I got that off of Shop Goodwill. And then he found... Believe it or not, he found four more jewelry jars. So, let me finish this one up that I had uh, untangled last night and show you what we found. We have this feather. It's an acrylic. It's a real feather. Necklace in silver tone. It's that one. And... We had this one with the little green sparkly cracked look, crackle look stones, see? And a big box chain with a lobster claw clasp with an extender. Very pretty. Pretty green. Statement necklace. We found this necklace. This is real stone. It's sterling silver. It is marked. Let's see if I can... It's hard to... Let's see. Here we go. It's chili. It's ASG, which my husband tells me that's silver. And chili. AG. 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 Sorry. He corrected me. He's a world traveler. I haven't been. It says AG.999. That's what it says on this. Chili. On that. The lobster claw class has 925 on it also. There. I guess these are silver bugle beads. And here's the stone. It's blue. I don't know if that's lapis or another stone. So if anybody knows, you can let me know. It's very cold. Very beautiful. Very beautiful blue. Let's see if we can look at these a little closer. There you go. So that's a really pretty necklace. It's very, it's fairly long. It's probably 24 inches or more. Let me see, there's 12. Can you put it on pause for a second? So, yes, this is, um, let's see, 4 and 12, 26. 4 and 12 is 16, 32 inches. And it's made with fine silver. That's what point nine 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 is. Used a lot of time to make bullion. Okay. The next one is this little dainty chain. Love this chain. Lobster claw clasp. Necklace with tiger's eye is one. And I don't know what this one is here. It's faceted and it's cold, so it might be onyx or spinel. And I believe this is silver. 
this chain. It is Mark 925, I believe. Yes, it's Mark 925 on the lobster claw. There. The next necklace we have is this little kid's boombox pink necklace. It's a lobster claw clasp. It's got a little bit of wear on it. It's still cute. It'd go in the kids' lot. Then we have this little peace sign. Peace. That's the back. It's on a nickel looking chain to me. I don't see any marks on it. Let's see if it's magnetic. I can't remember. Yes, it is. I'd say it's more of a kid's necklace, a preteen or I don't know. Should I put that? Should I put that in the kids' lot or not? I may not. I may just put it in the craft lot. What are you talking about? Honey, I am talking on the video. Oh. That's okay. Then we have this tiny little wishbone here, and the clasp is silver. It's on a string with a silver clasp. Let's see if I can get it to show. Here's the 925. Here's a string and it's a little wishbone, which I couldn't find a mark on it, and I'm not sure if it's silver, but it probably is. Very dainty string there. That's a pretty cool little piece. Next was this necklace, and it's missing the magnet that holds it together. It appears to be like stainless steel to me. Kind of shiny. It's not magnetic. Wait a minute. Yes, it is. Slightly magnetic. But a very pretty necklace if I can get the, uh, the right ends on it. Be nice for a pendant. Big chunky pendant. Or it's either going to go in the craft lot. Stick it in there for now. In the craft lot. There was this pretty necklace here with an M. A very organic looking. Let's see. On the back. It is B, no, it's SS, so I don't know who SS is, if anybody knows. Here's the chain, and it is a it's a toggle clasp that does that clasp at the pendant, which I think is kind of cool. And it's not scratched up, it's a beautiful, pretty gold color. The chain is... Um, Textured, very pretty. Okay, what's next? What's next? This is next, this pretty green necklace. It's an infinity necklace, there's no class, pretty chain. And get it going. There we go. Pretty, 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 pretty green. I the look at the Irish green. 
Very pretty. Be perfect for um, St. Patty's Day. The perfect greens. And the next necklace is this one. This one has to be repaired, but I love the pendant on it. It's got Aurora Borealis rhinestones in the peacock color here, and then you have your clear. All these rings. This necklace is, um, this pendant needs a C-class here so that I can hang it on the, the chain. Right now I have both clasps at the chain, but this is a beautiful rope chain on this. So I'm gonna find me a nice C-class, put that on there and fix that one. Here it is. And it's not magnetic. Oops. This is, the extender is, but the rope is not. And the pendant is. I don't think I see any markings on the lobster claw. Just check real quick. No, but I just love that. I love this chain here. I probably should test it. Let's see what's next. Let's do this one next. It is a wooden disc and mother of pearl type buttons that are dyed in reds and yellows and greens. Some le left in their natural state like this one. It's got a lobster claw clasp with an extender with a tag. And it is a Players. I don't know if you can see that or not. I have no idea why my skin is yellow there. I've washed and washed and washed my hair unless I got you can really see it in the camera, but you don't see it so much. Otherwise, it's a boho piece. another boho piece like a tribal fetish piece it has I'm looking for a class and I don't see one nope so it just goes over the head so here's the little animals on it lions and tigers Elephants, more elephants. I don't know what this is. What animal? That's a lion. Very pretty. Bo boho wooden carved pieces. Well, I didn't do that well. I need to pull the necklace thing closer to me. Here's another um, blue necklace with a lobster claw class and extender. And it is acrylic beads that are fasted and opaque in color. That means you can't see through them. The next piece is this pretty little piece. I think that is so dainty and so pretty. So here we go. On a nice silver chain. So you can see that little pearl drop there. Very pretty. The extender has a finished bead on it. Right there, 
lobster claw clasp. Nice chain. Slightly magnetic. Very pretty pearl necklace and rhinestones. The rhinestones are up here interweaved. It's in great shape. Pretty necklace. Very dainty. You get closer view. It's just gorgeous. Perfect for spring and Easter. Here's a pearl and glass stretchy bracelet. These are glass here and right here. It's a stretchy. <clears throat> Here's some bangles. This one's missing a stone. It's missing several stones. It's going to go into craft lot. It is marked right there. I don't know what that mark is. I'm going to have to loop it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe I should check on that first before I put this in the craft lot and check out these stones. That's not magnetic. These two bangles are magnetic. And this one is not magnetic. It's dirty on the inside. Looks like there was a sticker tag in there, right here. And it needs to be totally removed. I'm going to remove some of it. See if I see anything underneath. And I do not. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So I'm going to be testing this one too to see if it's silver or gold. My testing bag over here. Okay, I think I showed that. I think I showed that. And the whistle. I did show the whistle, I think. <clears throat> oh, I showed that. It's another magnetic bangle bracelet. No, I showed this. Sorry, guys. I just. I showed that. Okay, this one I hadn't shown. <clears throat> Very pretty little bar of rhinestones, double chain. This is a Stella and Dot, I believe. Yeah, Stella and Dot. Parachute type closure. Very pretty. We found these matching earrings and the orange, nice orange colors, lever backs, acrylic, and I have this single earring here. It looks copper, very much copper. I don't know if it's magnetic. Yeah, this is a copper earring. I hope I find a match. Very pretty. It doesn't the copper doesn't show real well. Here's a huge cross necklace. I guess you could make this into a pendant too if I don't find a match. Huge cross earring. 
<clears throat> this is cold. That's a pearl. Not sure. Little pearls. The bigger pearl. Don't see any markings on this wire. It sure looks silverish to me. So I will put it to be tested. This little necklace here is a double circle, one in a gold, the other one in silver. It's a lobster claw with an extender. No finish on the extender, but this little heart says that it's 925. So we'll be testing it. <clears throat> I like that. So we'll put it in the testing bag. The next one is this statement necklace. It's got an extender with a bead, a nice lobster claw clasp. Nice medium Merlot chain. These are actual crystal beads here with an Aurora Borealis wash. And then some gold tone beads. An acrylic ombre color of um, teardrop basted. Well, it goes to this side. This is very pretty. Love the colors. Beautiful statement necklace. <clears throat> a nice Rollo chain. It is magnetic, as you can see. Everything's sticking to my magnet. This is a fabulous magnet. Very pretty. There's another statement necklace. We are missing a center moon glow stone. Look how that does. Well, that almost looks like star sapphires because you see little stars. See the little watch. And there's one. There's one. That's very cool. Moon glow. It's missing one moon glow piece right here, which I'll be on the lookout for. <clears throat> if not, I'll put that in the craft lot. Then we had a Charleston old map, Mount Pleasant, Isle of Palms, Fort Sumter, Sullivan's Island, Bali Beach, Kiowa Island, all places on the coast. This is my home. Here's the back side. Someone took an old piece of map and put that in there. That's awesome. Nice little beaded. Uh, dog tag chain but it's missing the end I'm going to keep this and uh, get a new chain for it and then maybe put it up for sale I don't know I might keep it or give it to my sisters so they'll remember to come see me in Charleston since they're both in North Carolina traders we were all born <clears throat> well we were all raised here in Charleston I think two or three of us was born here My older sister, I believe. I'm not sure where she was born. I have to ask her that. I think she was born here, but I'm not sure. That's cool. I like that. <clears throat> I don't know if I showed this earlier. I think I did. That would be pretty on that chain that I need to fix. If it will fit, I don't know. It may not fit. Oh, it would fit because this is a enhancer. Yeah, it fits right on there. See, that'd be pretty on that. <clears throat> so definitely going to work on getting this fixed. Here's another pretty little pearl 
drop earring with the lotus flower up top. It's a post. I hope I can find a match to that. Here's a hoop, which I don't really like these kind of hoops. They drive me nuts in jewelry jars because they hook onto everything. Single, air, single little bead. No match yet. <clears throat> Leave back style, black. I don't know, I might have the match to that skin metal in color. I have to go looking. And, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It might have been an earring. I'm sure it was an earring. These are shell pieces, slivers, are either almost remind me of fish fins, but it's not got a, it could be a pendant or a earring. Found the match to this, which I thought these were really pretty. <clears throat> the match was found in a different jar, so you might as well buy all the jars you see if you come across the jars. Rhinestones. Very pretty chandelier type earrings. Very pretty. <clears throat> this was an interesting. That almost looks like it could be a magnifying glass, sort of, kind of. There's that. Now look at the wrinkle. I don't know. But it's a very pretty acrylic piece, I think. This ring, beautiful snake chain brace uh, necklace with a lobster claw clasp, nice size. It's Mark C, 1946. I don't know that brand, I'm gonna look it up. It's got a little Stone in the back of it. It's a pretty piece. I like it a lot. <clears throat> and it is not magnetic there. It is magnetic on this loop. And that ring and that bell. So the only thing that's not magnetic is the rope. Very pretty though. Very mesmerizing. Great conver conversation piece if you wear it too. <clears throat> See this was stuck on my magnet. So we know it's not silver. It's a three layered little necklace. You have a lobster claw clasp with a bead and extender, and it's American Eagle. There's the lobster claw. It's three chains, three layers. First layer, you have the little rhinestones and the little disc with the flower imprint. The second layer is a twisted, like a twisted rope chain. And then the final, final layer has this little pearl and those little crystal dangles that match the ones on the first layer. Probably need to put this in a bag so it doesn't tangle up again. Okay, and the next one. All-knowing eye, I guess. And it's on this chain, it's a snake chain. And I believe it's Mark 925. I just can't make it out. Okay, I'm seeing the two anyway. <clears throat> it's got two places where you can hook it. It's got there or either here to make it longer. Let's see if it's magnetic. Okay, what's magnetic? This this ring is the 
hand is not, this ring here that's holding the hand on there is, which is gigantic. I would put a smaller ring, I think. Very cool. Sterling, I'll have to test it. Okay, the next one we have, I think it's very pretty. The beads need cleaning, but I love these beads. I mean, they just glisten. I don't know if it needs cleaning or the beads are made this way where they're real shiny, you can see through, but the top is kind of dull because it's like that on every bead. This is very cool. It's a signed piece. It says S R R. I don't know. SRM. Made in Italy. Nothing on the back. It looks copperish, this part. And then this is gold tone. I'm going to loop this tag again. Yes, it's definitely SRM, made in Italy. So I'll be looking that one up. I love the beads on this. It's fairly long. Give you all another close-up look at that. See how they're kind of not as transparent on the ends. I don't know if it just needs cleaning or if it's made like that. So it doesn't feel dirty. Beautiful glass stones. I just love those. <clears throat> okay, and the next one, I don't think I want to hang those. I'll put that in a bag. Then get all stretched out. The next one I have is this one. It's a little stone here. I don't know what kind of stone. It's cool. Cold to the touch on this chain. It's uh, very kind of antique worn. I have no idea what he's watching on TV. I think it's a guy on a cruise ship. Oh, honey, it's okay. I just heard him going, what, what? Yeah, they can't 